Hey guys. Um. Right. Hey guys, it's Viv. Um, I am trying to start off my habit of vlogging before I go off to Germany. Uh, today is Friday and I'm going over early in the morning next Thursday so that's like six days until I go. I'm going out into town with my stepdad today to exchange some of my pounds for euros. I'm just gonna put a face on and I thought I would just film it because why not? So camera as a mirror and I probably should not do that. I'll just use this. I don't even have a mirror here. And I probably should get one. Well the mirror is on the other side of the room. I'm just chilling in a place where it isn't ever used. I always lose things in my bag because it's just like random bag. I've lost one of my brushes um, and I can't think where it could be. Not a clue. Maybe it's upstairs. Oh well, oh, it's here, I got it. Uh. I don't really know what I'm doing. So, I'm currently studying German at university and I am, like I said, next Thursday going on my year abroad. Um, I've been placed in like kind of a smallish town in like north west Germany um, and I've got no idea what's gonna happen when I get there but basically um, I so I applied through the British Council to do this um, like can't multitask. Okay, so I applied through the British Council to do a um, teaching assistantship and they've put me in a school of 10 to 16 year olds um, in like the small kind of village in Germany. I like Google Maps it and it kind of just looks like it's in the middle of nowhere. But hopefully <laughs> it's not that bad. I wouldn't say I have like fears but I'm like a bit worried that I'm gonna be the only person my age kind of like in that village. That would kind of suck. Um, I've looked at like how close it is to nearby cities and stuff. Um, and I just don't know if I'm looking in the right place because I looked on like the German um, like rail website. And everything, like traveling just looks so expensive. All the train tickets look so expensive. I just think I'm not looking in the right place to kind of get the right prices. But when I get out there, I'll just ask. I'll just ask someone like, how do I not spend my entire wages on getting out of this village? Okay, basically, I'm gonna do like a whole other video on like, all about me. Basically, I have, um, a friend um, who is being placed kind of like really really far south of me um, in Germany but I'm hoping that we can meet up several times also I have a friend who is currently in France on his year board because he does French he does French and Chinese so he's in France till February and we're hoping that we can meet up as well we're hoping that maybe we can go to like Disneyland or something my camera's running out of battery, but it's fine because I'm done. Anyway, um, the story of my assistantship. So I applied um, back in November, December time last year to teach German, I mean, teach English at a German school for my year abroad as part of my degree. So they placed me in this like village that's in the middle of nowhere, which I'm a bit apprehensive about because on my, on my application form, I was like, don't put me in the middle of nowhere, please. But apparently loads of people also said that, so 
I guess it was just luck of the draw. So I've been placed in a school for 10 to 16 year olds and I'm moving over next Thursday. But then the Monday after that is where I'm supposed to start training. Like we have like a four day training day near Cologne. Um, but the thing is, they emailed us a form to like sign and then fill out and return saying, yes, I'm going to the training days. Can you reserve me a seat on the coach? Cause they're gonna like put us onto coaches and then take us there. Um, and then, and that was back in July. Like I sent it off like a couple of days after I got the email initially. They said that I hadn't returned this form and I was like, oh yeah, I have. I emailed it again and then I emailed and then I didn't get a reply for like five, six days. And then I emailed it again and at the bottom of the email I was like, can you please reply to me when you get this message because I need to know that you're receiving my email. And I still haven't had any response. I Facebook someone that I know who does German who is going to the same training days as me because he's been placed in like the same um, region and he said that he didn't get a response when he emailed the form either but then I was like but I got an email from the British Council saying that I hadn't sent the form in the first place and he was like well I don't know I'm hoping that they got my email and she, the woman is just not replying to me because she just doesn't reply maybe I'll, I'll make more vlogs as the week goes on but I'm not really doing anything productive with my time I'm just sitting on my butt in front of the computer and not doing anything. Because the place is in the middle of nowhere, the only company that really ha that they use in that village, says my landlord says, is um, Deutsche Telekom. But their minimum contract for a, a an internet connection is like 24 months. I'm just hoping that I'll just turn up and I'll just be like, give me internet and then someone will <laughs> point me in the right direction to get an internet contract. Yeah, so... Not much else that's going on in my life right now, but I will hopefully update you soon. Somehow. Bye! Come here! Come here!